Well, hello. I'm so glad you made it. This is Fight Master Yoga. I'm Leslie. Today's one hour practice is total body yoga, a little focus on detoxing. So let's begin sitting up nice and tall, bringing the hands together in front of the heart. May your practice help you to become more energized, feel less stressed, and help you to feel better. At your own intention now, if you wish. Releasing the hands. I'm going to switch the cross of the legs. So now you have the funny shin in front, ground through the sit bones, lengthen tall. Take a big breath in and an exhale. We're going to do a little pranayama practice. So this is exhaling through the nose. The inhales will be passive. Let's take one more long breath in. Here we go. Inhale and hold. As you hold your breath, drop your chin slightly, pull your belly in and up, lift all the muscles in your pelvic floor, and hold if you need to release it at any time do. Otherwise, hold a little bit longer. And then exhale, release. We're gonna do that once again. A couple long breaths in between rounds. Remember, the exhale is more forced, the inhale is passive. Switch the cross of your legs again. Make sure you do inhale. So let's take another long breath in. And a long exhale. And here we go, inhale. going. Every exhale, allow your belly to draw in and up, using the belly muscles, warming the body from the inside out as you continue. <laughs> Inhale, hold. Drop your chin slightly, pull your belly in and up, lift all your pelvic floor muscles and hold them, holding the breath as well. Remember, you can always release at any time. Otherwise, hold a little bit longer. And release, exhale, good work. If this is new to you, don't worry, you can do it again. It gets easier with practice, like everything. Take a couple big breaths, then inhale, sweep the arms out, around and up. Interlace fingers, face your palms to the ceiling. Pull the ribs and belly in, lengthen. As you exhale, turn to your right. On your inhale, create more length through the spine. As you exhale, turn and twist, maybe a little bit more, turning your rib cage. Let your inhale take you back to center. Exhale, release. Inhale and reach the arms up again. Put the other pinky in front. Exhale, turn palms up. Inhale. Exhale, turn to your left. As you inhale, create length through the spine. As you exhale, twist a little deeper. So arms pop up by the ears, but if that's too intense, keep them in front of you. Relax around the neck. Take another breath. Inhale, center, exhale, release, switch the cross of the legs. Ground down through the sit bones. Inhale, sweep the arms out, around and up. As you exhale, take left hand to right knee, right hand behind. Sit tall, inhale. Exhale, start to twist. So you can use your arms to increase the twist a little, but really use your internal muscles to twist your rib cage, your chest, a little bit in the belly, a little bit in the neck. Take another breath, inhale lengthens, exhale twists, bring the head to center, unwind, reach both arms up, inhale, exhale right hand to left knee, left hand behind, sit tall on your inhale, 
and begin your twist as you exhale. So every inhale, think of growing a little bit taller, lengthening through your whole torso. Every exhale, turning the rib cage and the chest a little bit more, maybe rolling that left shoulder back slightly. Take another breath, head to center, inhale and unwind. Going to make our way crossing the shins to come forward again, this time onto hands and knees. Wrists under shoulders and knees under hips. Inhale, drop your belly, bring your chest forward, draw shoulder blades toward the waist. Exhale, round the back, tuck your toes under, and then take your hips back to your heels and extend your arms forward. So extend a child's pose with the toe, with, excuse me, with the toes tucking under. Now we're gonna sit up on the heels. So take your hips back onto your heels with your toes tucked under. If that's too intense, then untuck your toes and maybe sit right up onto your knees instead of sitting hips to heels. But continue to lengthen the spine and then make your way back into a child's pose, still with your toes tucking under. Inhale, come to the hands, bring the chest forward, widen collarbones. Exhale to round the back, pull the belly in, and then take the hips to the heels again. Sitting back one more time on the heels, really waking up energy channels throughout the whole body. It is something that can take a little getting used to though, so if it's too much, please, Untuck your toes and come onto the tops of the feet instead. And then back to hands and knees, and now we'll all untuck the toes and come onto the tops of the feet. Wrist under shoulders, knees under hips. Inhale, extend your right leg back and lift it from the inner thigh and drop the outer hip, reaching left arm forward. Pull your ribs and belly in. Keep your hips nice and level as you breathe here. And here comes Lily the dog. I didn't know Lily the dog, except that that's what her owner was calling her to try to get her back. She was so cute. All right, Lily, see you later. She's like, I wanna do yoga. So right leg back, left arm forward, pull the ribs and belly in, inhaling here. As you exhale, you're gonna take your left hand out to the left and right leg out to the right, tap down, lift up, inhale, center. Drop the outer right hip again. Exhale, bring your knee and elbow to center. Inhale, reach out, dropping the right hip. Exhale, take the left hand, right leg out to the side, tap. Inhale, back to center, square off the hips. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach for the arm and leg. Exhale, open the leg, take the arm out to the side. Inhale, tap them down and lift them up. And then exhale, reach through arm and leg. Draw the elbow and the knee towards center. And inhale, extend and reach. Keep the ribs and belly lifted and then release it all back to table. We're gonna extend the left leg back and reach the right arm forward. So as you lift the left leg, drop the outer left hip down, reach right arm forward, inhale, and exhale, pull the ribs and belly in, holding a moment, inhale. Exhale, take the arm and the leg out to the side and tap. Inhale, lift them up. Exhale, bring them back down the center, drop the outer left hip, draw knee and elbow to center. Inhale, reach. Exhale, take them out to the side and tap them down. Inhale, lift them up. Exhale, back to center and draw knee and elbow down the center. Inhale, reach out through the arm and the leg. Exhale, take them out to the sides and tap. Inhale, lift. Exhale, center, and pull them down the center as you round the back. Inhale, reach out, drop the outer left hip, and hold a moment, and then release it all back to table. Let's bring the hands about a handprint in front of the shoulders, turn inner elbows gently forward, tuck the toes for down dog. Arm, shoulders distance, feet hips width. Keep a little bend in the knees and then just slowly start to straighten the right leg, keeping left knee bends and switch. Bending one knee and the other as you warm up in your first down dog. How cute was that dog coming to say hello? <laughs> So sweet. Start to stretch back. Again, arms, shoulders, distance, feet, hips, width. Press into the base of the fingers. Lift up through the forearms. Pull in through the belly and the ribs from the legs. 
Just allow your arms and your ears to be in the same line. Inhale, make your way into plank, top of a push-up. Make sure the shoulders are over wrists, then shift them forward about an inch, knees up or down, slowly lower to your belly. Keep your hands by your low rib cage and inhale, peel the chest up. We're gonna stay for the exhale, widening the collarbones. Press all 10 toenails down. Then tuck your toes under, breath in, exhale, press up. Knees can be up or down and then back into downward facing dog. Be pressing down into the base of your fingers, lifting up through your forearms. Spin your outer upper arms, triceps back biceps forward and then look forward as you bend the knees and walk your feet to hands inhale look up lengthen exhale fold bend the knees as needed press through the feet inhale to reach up and exhale bring the hands by the heart samastitihi coming to the front of the mat feet together or hip socket distance apart firm your legs lift your belly lengthen your butt bones toward the heels inhale reach up keep your ribs drawing in Exhale, hinge from your hip creases to fold. Inhale, look up, lengthen. Exhale, make your way to plank pose. Knees up or down through chaturanga. Shoulders no lower than the elbows, please. Inhale, press up, shoulders above wrists. Exhale, stretch all the way back into down dog. So we're going to take a couple of Surya Namaskar A, Sun Salutation A's to warm up. So you can always modify with your knees down. You can take cobra instead of upward facing dog. Just do what's best for your body. Stretching back, lift the belly and the ribs in and up. Let's take one more breath. Exhale everything out. Bend the knees, step or hop up. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look up. Exhale and fold forward. Press for the feet to rise up on your inhale. And exhale to Samastitihi. Inhale again, sweep the arms up, looking up gently. Exhale, hinge from your hip creases and fold over the legs. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look up. Exhale, stepping back to plank, shift the shoulders forward, Chaturanga. Inhale, press straight into up dog. Make sure the shoulders are above the wrists. And then exhale, make your way to downward facing dog. Arms and ears are in line. Gazing between knees or feet. Even out your ujjayi breath. Inhales, exhales equal in length. another breath then exhale everything out step or hop the feet up on your inhale come to a nice long spine fold forward exhale press through the feet and reach all the way up inhaling and exhale hands to heart and again inhale reaching the arms up Exhale, keep the spine long, hinge from the hips and fold. Inhale, look up, lengthen. Exhale, step or float, chaturanga. If you float, land with your elbows bent, please. Inhale, pressing to up dog or stick with cobra. Exhale, stretch into down dog. As you're breathing here, pressing the weight up toward the hips, reach it down toward the heels. Firm your outer hips in and spin your inner thighs back. A nice, steady ujjayi breath. Look forward, bend the knees, lightly step or hop, inhale, lengthen, look up. Exhale and fold Uttanasana. Inhale, reach all the way up to Urdhva Hastasana. And exhale, bring the hands to Samastitihi, which means steady balance. Inhale and reach up, look up. Exhale, hinging forward, Uttanasana. Look up and lengthen on your inhale. Exhale, step or float back, finding Chaturanga. Inhale, pressing up. Exhale, stretch all the way back. I'm going to do a little core work. So as you inhale, lift your right leg back and up. 
And as you exhale, bring it forward right down the middle. So your thigh and your belly are drawing toward, while well, your belly's drawing up to the thigh, keep the belly lifted, shoulders over wrists. Then inhale, sweep the leg back and up again. As you exhale, bring it forward toward the right tricep. So even if you can rest it there, don't rest it because that would be cheating a little bit. We want to use our core muscles to hold it. Inhale, extend the leg back and up. And now exhale, take it to the left tricep. So again, even if you can touch the tricep, try to hold it there using your abs and your core muscles. Inhale, sweep the leg back and up and then just simply set it back down to down dog and we'll do the other side. Left leg up, nice level hips, inhale. Exhale, thigh toward belly, shoulders over wrists, press away from the floor gently, engaging your belly muscles. Holding. Inhale, sweep it back and up, level hips. Exhale, take it to the outside of the left tricep, nice and high but without letting it rest. Keep pressing away from the floor, lifting belly. Inhale, sweep the leg up. And exhale now over to the right tricep. So twisting, engaging those abdominal obliques, getting into the side abs. Inhale, sweep the leg up. And then just set it back down. Exhale. Little more ab and core work coming at you next. Inhale to plank. Always a good one for abs and core. Chest forward, lengthen sitting bones to heels. Keep your belly lifted and your legs engaged. Then bring your right forearm down and your left forearm down into dolphin plank. You can always take your knees down first as needed. And then press back up right and then left again to plank. Remember, you can do all of this with knees down. Pull the belly in and up. Now left forearm down and then right forearm down back to dolphin plank. Keep your shoulders and hips about in the same line. Lift the backs, the knees up. Then press left hand down, right hand down back to plank. Chaturanga. Inhaling upward dog. Exhaling back into downward facing dog. Getting nice and warm. And those core muscles woken up. And inhale back into plank pose. We're gonna do it again. Right forearm down, left forearm down, dolphin plank. This time step your feet together and squeeze. Squeeze your outer hips and squeeze your inner thighs. Keep lifting the belly away from the floor and then take it down to the floor. Make sure your elbows are under the shoulders and then draw the chest forward and the shoulder heads back. Exhale out your mouth. A nice long breath in through the nose. <sighs> you can even make a little sound with it. Now make sure the elbows stay under the shoulders. Tuck your toes, come back to dolphin plank. Again, outer hips, inner thighs squeezing. Squeeze the legs together, feet are together, legs are together, chest is forward, head is lengthening forward, crown of the head forward, just don't let it drop, and then release down. Elbows under shoulders, get shoulders to roll back and down. Again, inhale through the nose. <sighs> One more time. Big breath in. <sighs> Big exhale. Slide your hands by your low ribs, elbows up. Inhale, come to up dog or cobra. Exhale, tuck your toes, make your way back into downward facing dog. Stretch back. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Roll your outer upper arms back and then take your feet about as wide as the mat. Walk your hands to your feet. We're going to come to Malasana, a squat. So some of you may be able to point your toes straight forward. As long as your knees are in line with your middle toes, it's fine. Otherwise, if knees go out, toes must always go out as well. Drop your hips down. Do a little hip opening. If it's too low for you to go down that load, then go halfway down. You don't have to go any lower if it bothers your knees, especially take care of those knees. Take care of your body. If you have any pain in anything, that's your body's way of telling you, please stop right now. Always important to listen to. Back to down dog, stretching back, look up, lightly step or hop your feet forward. On your inhale, lengthen, look up. As you exhale, fold. 
Press down to rise up on your inhale. And exhale, hands to heart. Have a block handy, or you can use anything, really a water bottle works well too. Now inhale and sweep your arms up. Exhale, hinging from your hips to fold. Inhale, look up, lengthen. As you exhale, step your left foot back, come onto the ball of your left foot. Make sure your right knee is over your ankle and come on up to high lunge. And then reach your arms up, maybe interlacing your hands, everything but the index. Bend your back knee, tilt the pelvis forward. Now, if that's too intense for your shoulders, then keep your hands apart, but reach, reach, reach. See if you can create more length through your torso than you normally might. Pull your right hip back, keep the knee over the ankle. Hinging forward from the hips, grab a block, walk your back foot in a little, stand the ball of the back foot, and then pull your right hip back. And now see if you can extend the block forward a little bit more. So again, you're creating lots of space in your torso. Pull the right hip back and press into the big toe mound of your right foot, both legs straight if you can. Now you can stay with one block or you might want two. Lifting that left leg from the inner thigh, get nice and steady and then perhaps moving the blocks forward again to create more length in the torso. But keep pulling your right hip back and reach that left, extend the left leg back, dropping the hip down and now just drop both legs and inhale, look up, lengthen and exhale, fold. Come halfway up again. Now step your right foot back. The left foot stays in line, heel and ankle. Inhale, come on up into your high lunge. Let's bend the back knee, tilt the pelvis forward, reach up through arrow straight arms. Create length here. If possible, you'll interlace fingers, everything but the index, and then stretch those fingers straight up to the ceiling. Pull your ribs in, dropping them down the front ribs, and lift through the back ribs to create some more length. Breathe here, then leaning forward, reach for one or two blocks, stepping the back foot in a little, stand the ball of the back foot, pull the left hip back, and now walk your hands forward as much as you comfortably can, creating space and length through your torso. With all four sides of your waist extend. Widen the collarbones, keep the belly gently lifted as you breathe. Stretching out through the whole torso. Then bend the front knee. Lift your right leg up from the inner thigh. Drop the outer hip. Get nice and steady. Make sure your hips are level. And then maybe walk the blocks a little further forward. But keep the hip in line with the heel of that standing leg. And just see if you can create some more space. Especially in the torso. But reach through that back leg as well and then set it down. You can put the blocks off to the side. Inhale, lengthen, look up. Fold as you exhale. Feet together, knees together. Bend the knees, drop the hips to Utkatasana, but we're gonna keep a nice long torso here as well. So as you sit back, you might not sit back super deep. Get the weight into the heels. Extend the torso and then fold forward. Hips over heels if your legs are straight. Inhale, look up, lengthen. Exhale, step or float, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, back into down dog. As you inhale here, float your right leg back and up with level hips. We're going to do something we don't normally do, which is point the toes. We're going to hold that leg up, point the toes, drop the outer right hip down. Maybe lift it a little bit higher, but keep your hips level. Slowly bring it forward. Stand the ball of your back foot again into high lunge. Pull the right hip back, bend your back knee, tilt the pelvis forward, creating length in the lower back. Front ribs in, lift through the back ribs. Now, hover your belly above your right thigh. Exhale, bend the elbows and pull the arms back. Inhale, reach, you can even touch belly to thigh on this one. Exhale, bend the elbows, open the chest. Inhale to reach. 
exhale like you're moving through water make your own resistance and then take fingertips to the floor as you lift your left leg up maybe hold your right calf with your right hand pulling down keep lifting their left leg from the inner thigh see if you can touch your belly to your right thigh and now looking forward without touching your left foot down bring it forward bend your right knee cross left over right for garudasana legs arms at shoulder height and then right on top of left for garudasana arms eagle pose get nice and steady and then if you're steady enough hinge from your hip creases and fold forward touching your belly to your top thigh Give it a little squeeze with that leg. We're compressing the belly now before we created space. Inhale back up, extend the left leg back, just a brief warrior three before you set it down. Right knees over the ankle, reach both arms up, inhale. Exhale, take it down, plank pose, chaturanga. Inhale, press to up dog, shoulders above wrist. Exhale, stretch to down dog. Okay, we're gonna do the other leg. So inhale to lift the left leg up. Drop the outer hip down. So you're gonna keep the hips level, but then point the toes. Point the toes, point the toes. Keep lifting the inner thigh up and stretch back. Get really long here as well to begin. And then we're gonna start compressing. So bring it forward, left leg forward, step it up. Stand the ball of your back foot as you come into your high lunge. Bending the back knee, tilting pelvis forward, then straightening that leg, pulling the left hip back. Stretch up through the arms. Now hinge from the hips, belly on thigh, palms down, exhale, bend the elbows, open the chest. Inhale, reach them forward. Exhale, pull them back slowly, make some resistance. Inhale, extend. Exhale, pull. You can feel those muscles getting stronger. And fingertips to the floor. You can always use blocks here as well. Lift the right leg up from the inner thigh, maybe holding the left calf and pulling your belly onto the thigh as you take the standing split. We want level hips, so drop the outer right hip down here as well. And now without touching the foot to the floor, we're gonna bring it forward, bend your left knee a little bit so you can wrap right over left for Garudasana legs. Arms at shoulder height, left arm on top of right to add the arms. Keep pointing your hip bones straight ahead and your shoulders straight ahead. If you're steady, exhale, hinge from the hip creases and extending forward, belly touching thigh. Squeeze the belly. Keep the breath nice and steady here. And then slowly back up. Uncross the leg, extend it back, a little brief warrior three, and then setting it back down to crescent. Reach the arms up, inhale. And exhale, bring the hands down. You can go right to down dog and skip the vinyasa or exhale chaturanga. Inhaling to up dog, exhaling back into downward facing dog. I was feeling so good about being able to balance well today that I added some more balance coming up and I'll just let you know it didn't go so well. So if that didn't go so well for you, no worries. You're going to see me falling out of some balance poses shortly. Step or hop your feet up, inhale to lengthen and fold, exhale. Bend your knees, keep your belly right on your thighs as you drop your butt down and then reach your arms forward in line with the ears. Belly on thighs, butt down, weight in the heels, squeeze in the belly onto the legs. Keep breathing and then take the hands down and forward fold. Inhale to look up, take your feet about hips width or actually a little bit wider. We're going to come back to Malasana, back to the squat. So remember, toes and knees face the same direction. This time, right arm wraps around right leg, left arm can stay up or you can take it behind and hold your hands. Squeeze your right leg into the right side of your body. It's all part of the detox. <laughs> Let's bring the hands at the heart. And then the left arm forward, wrap it around, take the right arm up, 
Squeezing the left arm on the left leg, and you can also take the right hand behind. Squeeze, squeeze. Leg on the side of your stomach and side of your torso. And then release, back to center. Back to Malasana. Bring your hands toward the floor as you straighten out your legs and walk your feet back to hips width or together. Look up, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step or float to Chaturanga. Then inhale, pressing up, roll the shoulder heads back and exhale to down dog. Right leg lifts on an inhale, level hips. Exhale, drop forward, just a moment, take a breath here, using your belly muscles to hold it and then step it up. Staying on the ball of the back foot, bend the back knee, reach up and then straighten it, pulling the right hip back, make sure knees over ankle. Hands to heart, lean forward, take your left arm across and twist. Keep pulling the right hip back and lifting the left hip away from the floor. Deep breaths in your twist. So you can stay right here. You can always take the back knee down as well, or you can take the left hand to the floor, right arm up as a little deeper twist. But every inhale, imagine you're getting more length through the spine. And then as you exhale, you're turning your rib cage, your chest a little deeper into the twist. Squeeze outer hips, inner thighs, come back to center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, walk your back foot in about a foot and then take your block to the little toe side of your right foot. Reach left arm up, inhale, reach forward, get real long, then take your left hand to the block. Pull your right hip back, lengthen the torso, inhale. As you exhale, twist, Pavrita Trikonasana. If it's too much to have your block on the little toe side of the foot, put it on the big toe side of the foot. Keep the hips level, twisting from above the waist, squeezing the inner thighs toward each other like you're holding a block. Remember, every inhale length, every exhale twist. Release, pick up your block, take it over toward the left side of the mat, lifting the left leg up from the inner thigh, hips level, and then turn again to that same right side, lifting up through your right arm. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Another breath here, look down, and then just step your feet together. Inhale, lengthen, look up. Exhale, fold forward, that feels nice, but then we're gonna bend the knees and drop the hips, come into Utkatasana, chair pose. Bring your hands to heart center, lean forward, again, taking the left arm across, twisting to that same side. Now look at your knees. If your right knee's ahead of the left, pull it back. Come on, extend the left hand down, right arm up if you wish, but keep pulling that right hip back to keep the hips nice and level. And then back to center and fold forward. Inhale, halfway up, hands to hips. And exhale, all the way up. All right, we're balancing. This is, this is what happened. <laughs> You're gonna pick up your right leg. You can hold here on the shin, keeping the knee bent, which is probably what I should have done today. Or you can take the right big toe and drop the outer right hip down. Pull the right shoulder back. Keep a nice, steady gazing point. And then left hand to the little toe side of right foot, right arm back. You can also keep the knee bent, which is probably what I should have done <laughs> but that's okay you come out of it you just come right back in you can keep the knee bends or you can extend the leg whatever works for you you can also put a strap around the ball of your foot keep the leg up turn to center we're gonna sweep that right leg back lift it from the inner thigh drop the outer hip for warrior three and then slowly bend the left knee coming to crescent make sure the left knee is over the ankle Bend the back knee, tilt the pelvis forward, zip the belly in, straighten the back leg. Bring your hands to heart, lean forward, and bring your right arm across. Look, we switched sides, it was so seamless. Inhale to create length, exhale to twist. So you can stay with the hands at heart center, or you might choose to take your left hand down. I'm sorry, your right hand on your left arm up, pardon me but keep your hips level and keep the breath really, really long. Start to squeeze outer hips and inner thighs. So you can inhale, make your way back to center. 
And then walk your back foot in, take it flat, line up heel to heel or go wider. Make sure hips and shoulders square to the front of the mat. Right arm up, inhale, exhale, take it to your block, inside or out to the foot. Pull the left hip back as you inhale, as you exhale, make your twist. Think about turning your belly just a little bit in the twist and your rib cage more and your chest more. Mostly in the rib cage and chest all the way around is where we'll twist. Looking back down, pick up your block, take it over to the right side of the mat as you lift your right leg up. Make sure your shoulder and your wrist are in line. And as you're ready, you'll twist again to that same left side, but keep your hips level. Remember, inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist through the rib cage the most. Stretching up through the left arm. And then look back down and step your feet together. Inhale, lengthen, look up. Exhale to fold. And then start to bend your knees and drop your hips for Utkatasana. Hands at heart center and hook your right arm across. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Check out your hips. Make sure they're level. So we want to twist from above the waist. If you'd like, you can take your right hand to the floor, left arm up, a little deeper twist. Drop your hips. Keep your breath strong. Come to center. Inhale, look up, lengthen, and fold as you exhale. Bring hands to hips. Come up with a nice long spine. We've got to balance again. So we're going to ground down through the right leg. I think. Let me check. Yes, we're grounding through the right leg. We're picking up the left. can keep it bent like I should have today or grab the big toes, extend the leg. You can also use a strap here. Drop your left hip down, pull your left shoulder back, belly engaged. Keep a steady drishti focal point. Right arm across, take the little toe side of the foot or keeping the knee bent, take the outside of the knee, twisting and there it goes. We're going to reach that leg up, hold it up. Just holding it up, holding it up. Find a little warrior three and then take the foot flats and point your toes in toward each other, hands onto the hips. Inhale, look up to lengthen. Exhale, hinge from the hips forward. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, keep the length as you fold Prasrita Padottanasana A. Pin your outer hips in towards center. So kind of squeeze them, give them a little squeeze in. And your inner thighs in toward each other like you're holding a beach ball between the legs. Keep the legs nice and firm. Draw your shoulders up toward the waist, gently. Then halfway up as you inhale, bring hands to hips as you exhale. Come up with a long spine on your inhale. Take your arms shoulder height, inhale, hold the breath, step or hop your feet together, and then exhale, turn to the front of your mat. Back to Samastitihi. We inhale, stretch up tall, ribs in, exhale, hinge from the hips and fold. Inhale, lengthen, look up, exhale, step or float, chaturanga. Inhale, shoulders above wrists. Exhale to downward facing dog. Take a breath here, stretch back, firm the legs, lift the belly. Exhale everything out, step or hop and sit down. Have a block handy next to you if you've got one. On to the back with the feet hips width apart, bridge pose, press down into the heels. Inhale, just tilt the pelvis a little bit and then begin to lift. Low back, mid back, maybe upper back. Roll the shoulders under inner lace or you can grab the sides of the mat and pull. Spiral your thighs in toward each other. Lengthen your sitting bones toward the backs of your knees and keep your neck long. Breathe. Release the hands. Slowly lower down, take soles of feet together and knees apart to rest. Hand on the heart center, a hand on the belly, 
As you breathe here, think of three things that you're grateful for right now. Release. Bring your feet back to parallel, outer edges parallel with the mat. Pressing again up into bridge pose, rolling shoulders under, interlacing fingers or grabbing the sides of the mat. Spiral the thighs in, lengthen sitting bones to backs of knees. Then inhale, right leg forward, knees are in line. Lift it up and then bending the knee, take right ankle just past left knee. Keep pressing down on the left heel and lifting your torso up. And then extend it out, knees in line and set it back down. Keep lifting up, left leg forward, knees in line, and we'll lift it up just a little bit more, bending the knee, take ankle, left ankle just above right knee, flex that left ankle, drop the knee down any amount to stretch the hip. Keep pressing the right heel down and lifting, lifting, lifting away from the floor, then extend the left leg forward and release it down. Release your clasp, roll yourself down, take soles of feet together again, knees apart, hand on the heart center, hand on the belly. While you're here, think of three things you like or even love about yourself. Three things you like or love about yourself. That one might have been a little more challenging. I don't know. Take your feet back to the floor so you can grab your block and take supported bridge. Or if you want to do another regular bridge pose, you can. Or if you want to take Urdhva Dhanurasana, upward facing bow, you can. So if you're in regular bridge or wheel, you're breathing here. If you're in wheel or bridge, you can start to lower yourself down. And then if you do have a block, slide it under the base of the spine, right at the sacrum, that flat bone. Otherwise, you can extend the legs straight up toward the ceiling without a block. Either way, we'll lift the legs. And start to breathe here. This posture is a nice one to stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system, which helps us to rest and renew. So you're resting and renewing right now with your legs up. Not too hard. Bend the knees, return the feet to the floor, move the block, roll down and hug your knees into your chest. You can take that legs up pose against a wall as well and stay there for 10-15 minutes and really feel the benefits. Begin to rock yourself back and forth now up and down your spine or roll to the right and press yourself up to seated. Coming to Dandasana, extending the legs in front and then bending the right leg for Janu Shirsasana. Pull the left toes back, inhale, reach up. Exhale, turn a little toward the straight leg. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale to extend. Keep extending through the left side of the torso. It's easier to find space on the right side in this one. If it doesn't work to reach the foot, hold your leg or use a strap. Never matters how deep we get in. Just feel a stretch and you know it's all good. the breath nice and steady. Take longer breaths than you think you should. Really gets the oxygen moving through the body and the blood moving through the body, which is great for you. Inhale is head up. Exhale to release. Now we'll bend the left leg for Baddha Konasana. Sit up nice and tall on your inhale. Hinge forward from the hips. See, I'm trying to keep my spine really long. I'm trying to keep it from rounding, especially in the upper back. So if you lead with your chest a little, and draw your shoulder blades toward the waist and hinge forward from the hip creases, then you can keep your spine a little longer in this one. 
because we really do round our upper backs more than we need to. I know you're guilty of it too. So am I. <laughs> so our yoga practice reminds us. Keep the upper back lengthening. Inhale, come on up. Now we'll keep the left knee bent as you extend your right leg forward. Pull your right toes back, reach up, inhale. Turn toward the straight leg, hinge from the hip creases forward. Lengthen, inhale, extending exhale. So even here, doing the best that I can to keep my spine nice and elongated. So instead of thinking, I'd like to bring my head to my knee, I'm thinking I'd like to bring my belly toward my thigh and my chest forward toward my shin and the crown of the head forward toward my toes. Keep the breath steady. Inhale, lift your head up and exhale, release. Now we're going to bend the right knee, slide the feet a little bit forward, lengthen as you inhale, and now make your way forward and you can let your head drop down. And if you've got a little bit of rounding in the back for this one, I'm going to let it slide, but draw your shoulder blades away from your ears and see if you can find some relaxation as you come forward. Sort of let yourself go. Imagine every inhale from the base of the spine, moving all the way to the crown of the head and every exhale, crown of head back down to base of spine. Release any tension in the neck and the jaw. Inhale, come on up. And we're gonna cross the right knee on top of the left knee knee. That might not work. If not, extend the left leg forward or you can come in a simple cross leg position. Sit up tall as you inhale. If you have a good stretch, you'll stay. If you want to intensify it, you can start to come forward. But again, keep the spine long. This is Gomukhasana legs. I didn't add the arms this time really gets into the hips. Now, everybody's hips are different, so if this one hurts your knees, then you can lay on your back, take thread the needle, or you can take simple cross leg pose, sukhasana, whatever works for your body, your knees. Walk yourself up. Now this is a tricky one. You're gonna take your hands over towards your right foot and then walk them around in a big circle, circle, circle all the way around until now your left knee is on top of your right knee. Fancy, right? <laughs> you can always extend the right leg forward and sit up nice and tall. If you have a good stretch here in the hips, then stay here. If you would like more, hinge from the hip creases to come forward. Keeping the spine long. Yes, I kind of was relaxing a little bit in this one. I kind of like this pose. I had a hard time with my hips opening over time. And this was the pose that I could open my hips without my knees bothering me. That was just me. You might be different, but I, I came to like this one over time. Remember, long, steady breaths. Head up, walk yourself out of it. Uncross and slowly make your way on your back. Now with your knees bent, I'm gonna pick up your hips, take them off to your right a little, drop your knees to the left want deeper, cross the right knee on top of the left. Look over your right shoulder if that's okay on your neck. Breathing here. And as if you could turn your belly button right up to the ceiling. So moving the torso that way. Breathe. 
Bring the head to center, uncross the legs if they're crossed. Take your hips to the left and your knees to the right. If you want deeper, left leg crosses over right, look over left shoulder. And then again as you're breathing here, turning your torso, your belly, up toward the ceiling. Still nice, long ujjayi breaths. Bring the head to center. Bring your body to center. And hug your knees into your chest. This time, lengthen your sitting bones toward the mat, toward the floor. To stretch out your lower back. Then, just start to extend your legs out. I always lengthen my butt toward the backs of my knees and draw my shoulder blades toward the waist for Shavasana. So now, release your ujjayi breathing. Just relax, quiet mind and quiet body for a couple of minutes in Shavasana. I will be back. Oh, let me do the quote first. I was almost gonna, almost forgot the quote. It's a really good one too. There comes a time in life when you have to let go of all the pointless drama and the people who create it and surround yourself with people who make you laugh so hard that you forget the bad and focus solely on the good. After all, life is too short to be anything but happy. You rest. I'll be back. Right where you are, take a longer breath in and then let it go. Start to make some little movements in your fingers and your toes. Keep your breath a little bit longer as you start to circle your wrists and your ankles still with the eyes closed. It's coming back very slowly today.
And still with the eyes closed, take an inhale, stretch your arms, stretch your legs. And then bend both knees and carefully roll yourself onto your right side. Let's give yourself a little hug and thank yourself for showing up today and taking this practice that's cleaned you up from the inside out. Come on back to a comfortable seat. Bring our hands together. Ah, big breath. Let's take the hands to the forehead, reminding us to have clear and loving thoughts. Hands to the heart center, reminding us to have clear and loving intentions. And the hands to the mouth, reminding us to have clear and loving communications sending out this positive energy to all beings everywhere. Namaste. The light in me recognizes, honors, and loves the light in you. Mm, I hope you feel good. I'm so glad you joined me today. Um, also, this class. This class is brought to you by our amazing Patreon community. This is our one hour class. Every time we get uh, 50 new patrons, we create an hour long class. So this is for the 650 patron mark. We still have more to go. And I wanna thank my patrons. You guys are amazing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go to patreon.com forward slash fight master yoga. We'll put it below and join me. Join me there, join our community there we connect we talk to each other I'll follow you on Instagram I have different perks that you can choose from and you will help me continue to make hour-long videos thank you so much and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss anything and leave me a comment hit the like button if you like it let me know let me know let me know I want to know how you're doing all right have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you soon. See you on the mat. Hopefully I'll be in your house again tomorrow. So invite me in. Okay, bye-bye.